Hello, everyone. Welcome to my video tutorial for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Cell Ranger on high performance computer. So, the Cell Ranger software was developed by the 10 times genomics company. If you go to the 10 times genomics website, you can find this page for tutorials. Then here you can see get started with Cell Ranger. If we click this link, you can see in this page it will show you how to download and install Cell Ranger step by step. On this page, all the code for demonstration are using the Cell Ranger version 7.20. But if you go to the download center, you can see the latest version for Cell Ranger is 8.01. So for my demonstration today, I'm going to install the Cell Ranger 8.0.1. So you can see here, you have a link. We can use the wget. We can copy this code. Then we can download this version. So we copied the link for downloading the Cell Ranger. So now we can go to a high performance computer. So you can see, I logged into my account in our university. At the moment, I'm in my non folder. If we use the LS and have a look at the files in my non folder, you can see at the moment I have a folder called SR214078082. This is the folder I saved the raw sequencing data from human lung. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the cell range and install it on the high performance computer. So now we just need to paste the wget and the link for download the cell range software. So you can see we paste the link. Now we can just download the software. Okay, you can see it is downloading. Then we download the software already. Let's have a look at my folder again. You can see now, we can see the Cell Ranger software. It is a compressed TAR-GZ file. So in next step, we can use the TAR function to unzip the software. So we can paste the code. You can see we will use the TAR function to unzip the, the software. Let's run. Okay, it is done. If we use the ls command and have a look at the files in my non folder again, you can see now we have a folder called Cell Ranger 8.0.1. So in this folder, we have the software 
cell ranger to analyze the raw sequencing data. So we installed the cell ranger software. If we have a look at the guidance from the 10 times genomic website, you can see in next step, we need to add the cell ranger to my path. So we can change our files directory to the cell ranger folder. You can see here, it is still using the old version, but for the demonstration, we are using the 8.0.1 version. So we can go into this folder. Let's go into the folder. Now we can use the pwd function to find the files directory. You can see here is my files directory for the cell ranger software. Then next we can use the export function. You can see we can use the export command to add the cell ranger in my path. So if you are install the software, on your account, you can use your pass. So here, I have my pass. You can see this is the pass I'm going to use the export command. Now we can use the code and add the cell ranger in my path. So now we should be able to run cell ranger in my account. First, we can run the code which is cell ranger if we run. You can see it's the cell ranger in my non folder, and we just downloaded and installed the cell ranger 8.0.1 version. And if you just run the cell ranger, you will see all the commands for the cell ranger functions if we run. You can see here are the cell ranger commands. We have the count, multi, multiple template, VDJ. This is for immune T and B cell receptors. Aggregation function, we analyze. You can see now the test run command for the cell ranger software. So we can check use the test run to see if we can run the cell ranger software in my account. Let's run the test run function. Okay, you can see it is running. It will take two to three minutes to complete the test run. Okay, you can see Cell Ranger successfully completed the test run. So that's for today's demonstration. I showed you how to download the Cell Ranger software and install it on high performance computer. And also we did a test run. You can see the software is functional in my account. So in my next video tutorial, I will show you how to use the cell ranger count function to analyze the raw single cell RNA sequencing data. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. See you in my next video.